Jason extra? Oh. Yeah. Yeah, that's what we're doing. You want to tell someone else? Yeah. yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. I forget that. I can only hear Nick when he talks yeah, to me in my headphones. Like, Hi. Yeah. You guys got to see a little bit of the white cheddar behind me right there. There you go. Wearing his do me a favor and stop talking shirt today, which he used a couple times. Thanks, buddy. All right. So we had a pretty good show today. It was pretty decent, huh? Yeah. We just got done doing an interview with a, a pretty big deal actor. Pretty big deal. And actor could be male or female, by the way. So yeah, We're gender neutral now. We are gender. Yes. She, he or she opened our eyes to a lot of things. Why, why can't we say who it is? She. So she. And her name's Helen Mirren. <laughs> Dame Helen Mirren. Uh, it's Hell. Yeah. That's right. She said, call her Hell. Can't wait to play that back for you guys because she is Good. super cool and down to earth. The connection wasn't the greatest, but it, you, you can yeah, yeah. yeah. Overlooked that with her. It was a, you could tell it was a Rotary. Well, she's on double the connect. Old, she's on the old people phone. Yes, yeah, yeah. Wow. Cool. Well, you heard her being ageist wow. and sexist. Wow. And listen to Dame Helen Mirren call Big oh, Al out. She, she did. She did. Oh. She sure did. That's all right. She, she will remember me. For she also, she about five seconds. She also called him out another time, and it was, I think that was meant for me. Yeah, yeah. It was. But I didn't mean to. I don't think I was it's trying all right. to. It's it was all right. cool. Yeah. Does she hate me? No. no. Okay. No. She's already forgotten. I think we're all good. Um, what went down on the show today? Oh, yeah. We did talk to part time Justin about his knee. He's got to go see a doctor. We today, just seriously. we looked at it again, Kelly. It's it's bad. He one hundred percent has. Tracy and I both think it's an MCL tear. It's yeah. a meniscus tear or a meniscus. Yeah, something's torn. That is that's mm, an MCL. Yeah. That's the MCL. Meniscus. And the longer Other, he waits, that, okay, cool. The longer he waits, the more damage he can do. Right? Or is yeah. it okay? He needs to go. We're walking around on it and stuff. Yeah, he needs to get that checked out. It's worse. He's yeah. sending a photo to a doctor. I'm like, you need to go get it poked around. Parasol. Well, they do have that service now where you can you can do stuff like that. I forget what it's called all of a sudden. Yeah. We're going to get it checked out quick. He might turn straight. <laughs> okay, so now Again. you're... Again. What is it? I don't even know the word. You're on fire. Uh, <laughs> you're ageist, you're racist, and you're gayest. All right. I... I... <laughs> I... Now got, what? Got to be something. Now what? Yeah. So Jenna saw a couple naked people yesterday. That I was did. that was nutty. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you gotta make sure you lock the bathroom door. It is really always kind of my worst fear. Like I'll, I'll sit there in this bathroom right here, and you know sometimes the lock you're not it totally doesn't sure. catch. It doesn't always catch. So I'll be like pants down, like I'm gonna stand up real quick and make sure because I just yeah. envision Russ face walking in on me, just like fully splayed right. out. So you I always mean, gotta lock it and then pull it to make sure because it'll unpop and it's like, uh oh, it's not locked. You're right. I do look uh, I, I look up to the men that still pee like five year olds. With pants down around the ankles. I never see how guys pee. You guys I thought you just kinda kept it around your thighs. Yeah, we just go Or yeah. just not even it. like is your butt out a little bit? No, we cover the buns the whole time. It's, it's just, just barely the down. fly and barely down. Boom. So that means he must have been sitting on the toilet, clogged it, right? That's why your pants would be down. You more. still pull you would turn thinking. around and oh, tinker. Huh. But you would have been able to see the ring on the booty. You know? Or maybe he was holding him up, but then when looking. he realized he had to tinker, he had to drop the pants because he can't hold up yeah, the pants and tinker. The That's true. But why don't you just zip it up and tinker? Yeah. I don't know. So many questions we'll never have the answer no for. No tinker and naked. And the other ones were a couple in the parking structure doing some laundry. Crazy. And so Jenna watched. I don't want to see that. <laughs> almost, you know what I got the vibe? It was like... Um, like an, an affair. affair. Yeah, for sure. Oh. They were in that Honda Civic, and they were all over each other. Oh, wow. Or Honda Civic, huh? <laughs> well, that, that couldn't be comfortable. Yeah. No, that's... Yeah, I was just like, it just felt like an episode of Cheaters. Do you know what I mean? Was it at least like, like a why, why in the mall parking lot? If you're a couple in love, it's not like a lunch break. It's like, it's well, like that's what your if only moment. You were part of a reality show, and it's like... What would you do? What would you do? You watch. Would you ever watch that show? What would uh -huh. you do? Yeah. Think, what would I do? I, like, I would watch them. <laughs> I would watch for a minute. I'm not gonna stop them. Uh, well, no, you can't stop. It's not your business. They, right. weren't, they weren't stopping, so I. Left. Well, that's illegal. Yeah. You can make a citizen's arrest for indecent exposure. You could, but that's I'm, rude. I'm calling 911 right now, and I'm taking pictures. Would you tell on them, Kelly? I no. I pr I probably just would leave. walk away. I, yeah, as quickly do, as possible. It was just a weird couple hours for me. <laughs> and we also talked about the, uh, the last night's Bachelor. We're finally done yeah. with Ari's season. I'm thank the Lord. So glad to be done with that. That's it was done. such a boring season, but the last two nights, five hours of exhaustion. I am just emotionally drained. So there are 25 girls on that show, right? Something yeah. Something like that. So 25 girls dodged a bullet with Ari, and Lauren ended up with him. And I said 25 because Jenna's one of those girls that dodged that bullet. Because you did go on a date with this guy. Now he's the most hated dude in the world. It's so funny. We talked about it. Mackenzie and I were recording our fetish podcast last night. And um, 
little later than normal. And we, she asked me about that because she's like, you went out with him and then you didn't go out with him again. And he was kind of mad at me. Like I hurt his ego. I never really got into that. But he had asked me to go out again, but I had plans to go meet my rescue dogs yeah. at the time. And I don't, I just kind of wanted to play a little harder to get, but he was so angry at the time. And then come to find out he had also been taking out another girl that I know that lives in town. So when I talked about it on the radio, she was mad because he had been taking her out. And then he was mad at me that I didn't want to go out again. So I think that's just his style. So he always wants two girlfriends at once. I wasn't well, a girlfriend. He keeps his options open. Yeah. If okay. you're not committed to one of them, there's nothing wrong with dating a couple. You yeah. Know? No. And as long as you're not giving that person the impression you're the only one. Right. You're free to date multiple people. Yeah. 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 That probably made him want be more interested in me that I didn't want to oh, go of out with him again. Of course it so did. So he was kind of mad. Yeah. And even so, even after during the season, he slipped into the DMs, the direct messages, and, and me liking your pictures that, and stuff. Yeah, he was, which was interesting. But I don't necessarily think it was because he wanted anything. I think he probably knew where this was headed and knows that I host a radio show and probably wants me to say nice things about him. He was nice to me. My sure. experience is he's a nice guy. I don't really care what he does with his love life. He was fine. Yeah, you know? yeah I got you. Um, and then we found out that I have a potential job opportunity. That's right. Yeah, you do. And I need this job because this is, I actually have, and I told Kelly this before, I actually wanted to be the Blue's Clues guy this is right up your when I was little. I wanted to be the Blue's Clues guy. I thought that was the best job in the world. And they're bringing back Blue's Clues. They're wanting someone a little bit more culturally diverse after Me. two white guys. Me. But they didn't, say the it, they didn't say it had to be a man either. No, it'd be cool if they got a girl. So, But I think, I, I've always said you should work in kids' television. I know. It's, you just relate to kids so well. It's Saturday, April 14th in L.A. You're going to have to go, but I sent you the casting. You can, you, um, you can go ahead and email them and download the casting and so they say singing and playing the guitar are you bonuses. You do both of those. I can do that. You can you're do both of those. To, you just have to convince them that their age requirement doesn't apply to you because um, you don't meet the age requirement. I'm just going to do what everybody in L.A. does and lie. lie. Yeah. Yeah. Well. Beyonce says she's still 27. Wear your class of 2010 t-shirt. Yeah. <laughs> well, I graduated in 2008, Al, so, you know, it's not that far up. <laughs> <laughs> what was that laugh? Oh, speaking of creepy laughs, oh. how about the creepy Alexa laugh that's going on? In the middle of the night, if you have an Alexa, some of them are doing this. <laughs> just laughing. Such a weird laugh. Just evil sounding laugh. I need them to hire my wife. Oh. See, that one's if good. If that went off in the middle of the night, it's yeah. so scary. Uh, at my house, it does go off in the middle of the night. The laugh? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and it is scary. It actually is scary. Oh, man. Well, tomorrow, it's a, what is it, Thursday already yeah, tomorrow? Yeah, it's Thursday, dude. So we're going to have two winners battle it out to see who gets upgraded for those oh Taylor God. Swift tickets. a great Today's winner today. Winner. She was oh, crying. So the mom won, but then the little girl was in the car with her. She's 10 years old. Gabriella. Gabriella. Yeah. Yep. And started you know, so excited. You don't know what to do with your emotions. You just start bawling. bawling. It was so cute. I got tears in my eyes. That was so Sweet. And then our winner uh, the day before that was also an, an awesome winner great who was excited. Great so we, winners. we got two great winners, and now we're going to feel bad that one of them is going to get the nosebleeds and the other one's going to get upgraded. But that's how the contest works. Yep. And you can play along in your car. And we're going to be playing along here in the studio. We also have a nice B Dubs music hangout with uh, who are we having in tomorrow? In oh, life. in real life, the boy band. Yeah. Th- that won that boy band competition. Yeah. So they're going to be in here. So the ladies like that. We'll uh, hang out. How old are they? They're old enough. Oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for yeah, what? Because I'm looking at them right now and they don't look old. 17 to 19 well, you know maybe. how I feel about a boy band. You I'm already a yeah. fan. Of course you are. So we'll have them. B-Dubs Music Hangout and First World Problems. So if you're having those little issues, you want to get them off your chest and make us laugh at the same time, that'd be awesome. We'll see you tomorrow, Kid Nation. Goodbye. Goodbye.